Hi friends, our today's topic is compound interest and this is the seventh video on compound interest. In this video, we are going to learn shortcut to find out the time in compound interest. So let's understand the question and try to solve it here. The question is the compound interest on rupees 30,000. Okay, principal is given. Principal is how much? 30,000. Rate is also given. 7% per annum is 4347. That means compound interest is given 4347, right? And they're asking in how much time the compound interest will be 4347 if 30,000 rupees is invested at the rate of 7%, right? Okay. So what is the trick here is, see, as we know, compound interest and simple interest for one year will be same, right? For one year, simple interest and compound interest will be same for more than one year for more than one year always your compound interest will be greater than simple interest right why because compound interest will be always calculated on amount and your simple interest will be always calculated on principal so this is the only reason your compound interest will be always greater than simple interest for more than one year right okay now the options is given two years two and a half years three years and four years right okay so let's try to eliminate the option and whichever option will be remaining after eliminating that will become our answer okay so principal is 30,000 and rate is 7% so let's take the option C so option C means 3 years if we will invest 30,000 rupees see here I am calculating simple interest from the simple interest we will come to know if the compound interest will be more and if it will be equal to whatever is given in the question right so simple interest is to 30,000 into rate is what 7% and we have taken option C we have selected option C is 3 years and divide by 100 so you see 3 into 7 is 21 and 21 into 3 is 6300 so for the 3 years for the 3 years your simple interest is 6300 then compound interest will be obviously greater than 6000 300 right because compound interest is always greater than simple interest so option c and option d will never be your answer right because for op uh, because for option c when the year is three years then simple interest itself is 6300 and in the question they have clearly mentioned the simple interest is what 4347 right now let's try to invest it for two years so for two years if you'll invest then 30,000 into 7 into 2 divide by 100 right so these two and these two will get cancelled 2 into 7 is 14 14 into 3 is 4 2 double 0 right so your simple interest for two years is what is 4200 then compound interest will be definitely little more than that 4200 and what is is the given in the question your compound interest is 4347 so yes your answer will be a right okay if you want to uh, confirm about uh, option B so option B you see two years and six months they have given right so we'll try to calculate the compound interest for that right okay so before calculating compound interest let's calculate simple interest if simple interest is more than this value then no need to calculate the compound interest right so simple interest is just to PRT so 30,000 into R is what 7 into two years six months so two years six months is nothing but 5 by 2 right and divide by 100 right okay so 20 will take 20 off and this is 15 times so 5 into 7 is 35 35 into 15 will be how much 15 into 30 is 450 and 15 into 5 is 75 so it will be how much 5250 so two and half year your simple interest itself is 5250 which is more than the compound interest given in the question so your answer will be option a so we no need to calculate see here i have calculated for three years two and a half years and two years but in the real questions I mean, when the questions will come in the exam no need to calculate for everything what we can do is we can calculate for two and a half years so when you will calculate for two and a half years you will be getting five to five zero right so two and a half year if it is for two and a half year it is five to five zero then three years it will be more than that four years it will be more than that so automatically your option a will become your answer question two in what time will a man receive rupees 85 as compound interest 
at principal 320 rupees right and rate is given 25 by 2 percent right and compound interest is 85 so again we will do the same thing here so what is the list value so list value is two years so first we will calculate for two years see if two years is the answer then in two years only he should be able to get the 85 rupees right so calculate simple interest for two years so simple interest is equal to p into r into t time is two years we have assumed two years and divide by 100 right okay so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled 25 4 times and this is 4 80 times so simple interest for 2 years is how much 80 rupees so compound interest will be little more than simple interest for 2 years so what is the simple uh, what is the compound interest he is receiving 85 rupees yes so they will be definitely investing it for 2 years right see if you want to cross verify or if you want to check once more your answer what you can do you can calculate for 2 and a half years so 2 and a half years is nothing but 5 by 2 years right now the simple interest is 320 into rate is 25 by 2 and time is 5 by 2 and divide by 100 right so this will go by 4 times so 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 2 is 16 16 into 20 times so your simple interest for 2 and a half years will be 100 rupees if your simple interest itself is 100 rupees then your compound interest will be more than 100 rupees so your answer will be c only not any other options right so thanks for watching the video